are we there we go perfect so good morning everybody welcome to our saturday success training call and um, it's good to be back i'm a little bit nervous so bear with me but i'm very very excited to be back um, I'm really, really excited for this morning's call. We've got an incredible lineup of speakers. The theme for today's call is let's go to Rio. Who's excited to go to Rio? James is getting us all pumped up with the music this morning. So we are going to get straight into it with all of our amazing speakers. We are getting started with the incredible Ross Kamru. He is an executive marketing director. He is dad to his beautiful daughter, Ellie Rose, husband to the amazing Danny Kamru, PMD. He is author of the Network Marketing Masterclass. He is a podcaster. He's a mentor. And he started the business part time five years ago alongside working in retail as a head of global retail in a global corporate chain. He hit national marketing director in three years working part time on the same day that Danny hit PMD. You can imagine what it was like in their house on that day. <laughs> Um, he quit his job in May 2019 and has since gone international marketing director and executive marketing director and is now working towards PMD. He is going to be talking to us this morning all about setting your compass for Rio. So welcome, Ross. What an introduction. Thank you very much, Sarah. I, tell you, I, was, like, I was thinking, is that really me when you were saying that? But um, no, honestly, yeah, amazing. Really, really uh, great to be here. Honoured to have been asked to speak. So massive thank you, James, for inviting me. Um, I know it's a couple of times he tried to invite me and uh, there's always something that's come up and I was like, Do you know what, whatever happens, I've got to get on this call because I'm, I've been dying to get on one of these. So uh, yeah, no, uh, thank you very much. Uh, welcome to everybody, obviously, for, for joining the call this uh, particular Saturday. And what a subject, what a subject about Rio. I mean, honestly, it, that, that just that video alone took me back to Lisbon when we was all at Lisbon. Obviously, James, you were there, so you know, I know there was a lot of others that was, that was there. And um, that felt like a carnival, right? When we was in Lisbon, it was just absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, probably the most insane experience I think I've ever had in, in almost a seven years now that I've been with, with, the, with the business. It was absolutely incredible. Um, so first off, I mean, before we even get started, obviously this will give me probably a bit of a quick call from me, but you no, know, yeah, firstly, who's excited for Rio? Like who is actually thinking, do you know what? I am gonna be on that plane to Rio. If you are, just comment in the chat and just write Rio, okay? Because hopefully I'll be talking to you guys, right? That really actually you want to be there, you want to be on the plane, or you're going to be on the plane. Let's, do, let's, let's, you know, affirm it first. All right, so amazing, right? We've got so many Rio comments. That's what we like to hear, okay? And you know what? When I, when I heard about this Rio incentive in Lisbon, do you know what? It, it honestly gave me goosebumps, right? Because I, I literally sat in that, in that sort of event arena and I I thought, you know what, whatever it takes, I'm going to be on that plane, right? And the same with Danny, we both, we were both there. We was literally like holding hands. We we're like, do you know what, this is us. We're there. We're going to have our, you know, bums on seats right on the plane. But what I love about it is because it's, it's a long-term incentive, right? It's something that every single person, whether you're existing in the business, wherever you're at in the business right now, doesn't matter, right? And whoever you bring into the business right now, Great, because you know what? Every single one of you have got the chance to get to Rio. Every single person in this company has a chance to get into Rio and whoever you introduce into the company. Now, that excites the hell out of me, right? The absolute hell out of me, because imagine how many planes they're going to need, right? If we was to all work, you know, our butts off to get the, how many planes they're going to need to take us all to Rio, right? It's going to be absolutely incredible. I mean, look, the company invested like, what was it, half a million in taking us all to Lisbon, right? Imagine how much they're going to have to invest to take us all to Rio, right? I mean, I don't know what other company in the world would do such a, a, an incredible incentive, right? First and foremost. So you should all be absolutely mega excited, okay? But I'm just going to talk to you today about a couple of, you know, few tips of, of what I think, you know, really should be the focus for you to, to get to Rio, because I know there's going to be some amazing speakers that are going to talk to you guys today uh, about certain aspects of like the DMO and what they do and task-wise. So I'm hopefully going to bring you something a little bit different today. But First and foremost, right, what I would say in terms of like, you know, this whole title of my talk is about setting the compass to Rio. The first thing I would, I would say to you guys is, look, take the title away from it. Like, in other words, like if you're not NMD yet, do not worry. Just take that title away, okay, in order to get to Rio, all right? You shouldn't even be focusing on that, okay? 
what we should be focusing on, all right, is the first step. And that's what I love about what the business have already done. They've made it so easy for us to qualify for Rio because they've already done the hard work, right? They've set the incentive. They've got all of the points that are there for you guys to achieve, but they've broken it down, right? And I love that. Anytime I do any type of goal setting, they I always say, break it down into milestones for you to get there. And that's what I'm trying to say to you guys is, right? Take the title away, take anything like that away, all right, for you to achieve. Just focus on, the first step, stage one, right? And if you're a leader and you've got a team right now, I know we're doing this with our own team, for example, right? You should be setting up and saying to you guys, right, who wants to go to Rio? Who is really fired up to go to Rio? And if you are, let me get you into a group and let me, let's just focus on stage one together, right? Those first 50 points, because that is the first step in order to get you obviously towards Rio, right? Great incentives that come along with that as well, that obviously the company are offering. All right, so just focus on that first step so and use the resources that are available to you to look at right well you know what is the, the point structure how do i accumulate points for that first stage okay and then start tracking it like i can already tell you like if i was to switch this camera around like uh, my whiteboard that i'm staring at right now has got myself it's, and it's got danny's points already written out and we're tracking it all the way right so i can already see that danny's halfway there uh, for this mark i can already see that i'm a quarter of the way there right so that's what I'm saying for the first stage, like have those points in front of you and make sure you are tracking it all the way to that first step, that stage one. Right. And if you do that and you do that continuously throughout this whole course of this incentive, you will become NND and you will make it right because you're just doing the actions that are needed to be taken. OK, so don't focus on this long term outcome. Just focus on what's in front of you. All right. That, so that's something would be the first thing. OK, uh, the second thing is, is that so many times like I have in, the, in this business when I've seen incentive after incentive that's been launched in like the seven years that I've nearly been here. OK, so many people, I guess, would I would try and say overcomplicate it. They might even look at, you know, what I'm saying about the points, but you, you might look at thinking, right, well, right, I've, 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 I've got to do this. I've got to do that. Or someone says I've got to get on, the, you know, uh, use this social media tool or use this or whatever. And all of a sudden it's like it's like panic. Right. It's like, all oh, right. What, what do I need to do? What do I need to focus on? Guys, look, in any incentive and that ever comes out, right, ultimately, the job don't change. What we do don't change. We still have to do the same three things that we always have to do, regardless of, of whether there's an incentive or whether there's not an incentive or anything like that, right? And those three things are, number one, we've got to put customers on, right? We've got to get new clients, okay? The second one is obviously we've got to recruit, right? And obviously this incentive is all about partner activation, right? And the third one is that we've got to teach people to do the same thing. That job role does never, ever changes. And it never, ever changes whatever position that you're at. You know what I mean? Whether I'm EMD, whether Danny's PMD, whether there's PMD pluses or whatever, it does not change. So your focus should be not running about left, right, and center, what else you've got to do. It's just those three things. Because if you do those three things, you're going to begin an ND. You're, you're going to go to Rio. And, and it's as simple as that, okay? So think about, right, if I've got to do those three things, right, I've got to get sales. So what have I got to do? Right, it might be that, you know, right, you've got to start a new health journey. If you haven't, get on it. You should be focused on a new journey pretty much every single month, right? Are you documenting that journey? Are you really sort of living the mission of inspiring healthy living around the world? Because if you're not, then chances are you're not going to get new customers, right? So that should be like, the, you know, the, the first and foremost thing we should be focusing on. In terms of team members, you know, are we posting about the business and the exciting, you know, stuff that we've got going on every single day? Again, if you're not, then that's what we need to do. So many times I work with a lot of people and, and they go, oh, I'm struggling to recruit. And then I go on a page and I'm like, well, when was the last time you posted about the business? Or how many times have you posted about the business in a month? And it's next to like zero. It's like three or four times or something. And I think there's like, I mean, barring this month, there's like 30, 31 days in a month. OK, so as a minimum, that should be 31 posts about the business. That should be 31 posts about the product as a minimum, okay? So that's just one a day, all right? So think about that and how you're showing up, all right? Because I said, that it's those three things that we need to work on, right? And obviously, let's say, if you do get new recruits, again, keep it simple. Okay? <coughs> those three things that we need to work on, all right? When you're setting up a new team member, again, so many times I see people, they go, right, I'm going to add them to this group and that group and, and the upline, upline group and this customer group and this potential group and all this stuff. Actually, they just need to get on the product, right? And they just need to showcase and document their journey and post uh, uh, journey and post about it, okay? And secondly, they should just be posting about the business with the excitement, right? And that's it, okay? Keep it simple, all right? Because if they do that, they're going to get new clients, they're going to recruit, and that's what we need to do, all right? You're teaching someone to do the same thing, okay? So whatever happens, that's what I'm basically trying to say. 
in this incentive, because I know the other guys will talk a lot more in detail about what to do each day. But as I said, really, the job role does not change. Just focus on those same three things. I've got to get a new client. I've got to get a new team member and, team member, and I've got to teach someone to do the same thing. If you do that, those three actions, you, you're going to be on the plane. There's no doubt about it. OK, but what I'm going to talk about is, is really sort of like four, four steps, really, like four things that for me is either going to make or break you. OK, in terms of getting to this incentive. So number one is eliminating distractions. Right. The great thing about this incentive is, I said, it's a long term incentive. But you know what the worst thing about this incentive is? It's a long-term incentive, right? And what, I'm, so what I mean by that is, what does that require? It requires long-term work, right? It doesn't require one month's lot of work or one week or, or three months or anything. It requires a hell of a lot of work for a long period of time, okay? So what happens in that instance? Distractions, distractions are everywhere, right? Whether it's, you know, new companies coming on and shining these little light bulbs and everyone's like, oh my God, should I join the hype over there? Guys, look. Not being funny, what, what other hype is there better than what we've got going on right now? I mean, I don't know what, I, honestly, like, I, I, I think, what, what, what are people on if they leave, if they leave this company right now, they are absolutely bonkers and they are insane and they are going to regret that decision because in a year's time when we're all flying on that plane to Rio, they are going to wish that they never, ever left, right? So this is what I'm trying to say about distractions, right? There's always going to be a shiny new thing that's coming along, right? A little bit of hype here and there that's, you know, not really got any foundations, right? There's always going to be things like school holidays and half terms and all, you know, especially for us as parents, there's always going to be things like that that are going on, right? So what I'm saying to you is, right, you've got to eliminate that. You've got to be aware of that and you've got to make sure that your focus is on Rio. Your focus is on the do. The focus is on not, is on the day disciplines all right even with me like i know it sounds silly obviously i work full time on this business but i work from home i have to stop myself from hoovering i have to stop myself from washing up right i have to stop myself from doing those those silly little things right i know it's important because we've got to clean the house but what i'm saying is i've got to be laser focused right on my business i've got to be disciplined and say do you know what i know there's all of these distractions around me but if that means i've got to, i've got to focus three hours in my business i've got to lock myself away in the office i've got to do something then that's what i've got to do all right so that's what I'm trying to say to you is eliminate every distraction that is around you because it is going to happen. All right. It happens to in our life on a daily basis. Right. Whether it's someone's been negative towards you, whether a team member's left. All right. Whereas I said, whether a shiny new company's come along, like whatever it is, there's always going to be something that is going to be out there trying to distract you. OK, so my biggest tip and step one, if you want to get your bum on the plane to Rio, You've got to eliminate distractions everywhere, all right? You've got to embrace that they're there, know that they're there, and go, right, you know what? Get, get rid, okay? Because I'm focused on my business, all right? So that's number one, okay? Second one, all right, is... I'm actually going to tell, tell quite a funny story here, all right? So who here, right, just let me know, right? Has anyone got had any, like, New Year's resolutions, right? Just, just let me know. Just like, yeah, New Year's resolutions, right? Let me know, right? Reason I'm going to ask that question, let's see who we got. Right, loads of New Year's resolutions. Amazing, okay? So I read a crazy stat the other day, all right? And you probably, some of you might have even read it yourself, right? That apparently there's like 40% of people in the world give up on their New Year's resolutions by the end of January. Like, I think that's absolutely insane, right? I mean, I don't know what that number is in terms of like the world population, right? But 40% of people give up by the end of January, right? But anyway, the reason I wanted to ask that question is because... I'm like you guys, right? I've set New Year's resolutions, okay? So I go to the gym quite often, right? Pretty much Monday to Friday, I'm there, right? I'm in the gym, six o'clock in the morning and I'm, I'm working out, right? And you might think, well, that's, that's pretty cool, right? You know, you might be quite fit. The answer's no. I am honestly, I, I'm gonna be 40 next year and I can honestly tell you I'm one of the most unfittest people that there is, all right? And the reason I say that is because when I go to the gym, I just, I just do weights and stuff. Like I hate cardio i cannot stand it i find it mundane i find it boring like I, I can't think of nothing worse than doing cardio at the gym and if you guys do then hats off to you right but i i, I can't right so but one of my news resolutions because i am turning 40 next year i thought you know what ross come on like i've got to get a grip here right? i go to the gym every day and i've got to try and make sure that I, i'm going to be fit at 40 i don't want to be one of these people at 40 that literally can't move right you know i, I just can't I, I can't do that right so so that was part of my news resolution all right so so anyway so me and danny we decided you know what we even though we go to the gym anyway we were going to join a new gym okay so it's closer to home so you know get there get there a bit quicker not a bit more sort of a bit more luxury than, than what we had before 
So uh, I was like, right, okay, let's, let's, let's go, right? So me and Danny was in the gym quite recently. This was quite a few weeks back, all right? And um, I had done my usual weight workout, all right, in the morning, got thought, thought, all right, okay, yeah, I'm feeling good, all right? And then Danny was on, literally was just on the, on the treadmill, okay, because she was just starting out my workout. So she said to me, Ross, come over, like, you know, you just jump on a treadmill with me, right? Let's, let's, let's get on this together. So I was like, okay. So, so Danny's like, literally, if I could, I won't stand up, but if I was, right, she's doing like a brisk walk right? She's just brisk walk because she's warming up. She's using it as a bit of a warm up, right? On the treadmill. I get on the one next to her, right? So I think, oh, do you know what? I just, I just do the same, right? A bit of a cool, I use it as a cool down, right? So this is me doing the cardio. So I'm all like this, right? Just, you're just plodding along, right? Having a little chat with Danny as we're going along and whatever, right? And all of a sudden, this guy comes on ne next to me, right? So on my right on the treadmill, right? And he's probably the same age as me, if not a bit older, right? Now, I cannot tell you how fast this guy was going. Like he might, have, might as well have been Usain Bolt, right? He was going like the clappers. He was going literally a hundred miles an hour, right? On this treadmill. And there was no signs of this guy slowing down, right? He was literally going at it. So I'm sitting and standing here now thinking, looking at this guy, like literally like in, in embarrassment, right? And I'm thinking, what the hell? Like, do you know what I mean? If this, if this guy is he, literally my age or older and he's, and he's doing this, then what the hell am I doing? Like, I need to either get off, right? Or... I need to like say enough's enough and I actually need to try it, right? I need to try and, you know, because it's part of my news resolutions, right? So guess what happens, right? After about a minute of seeing this guy absolutely down like 100 miles an hour, I start tapping the, tapping the up button. Everyone been on a treadmill, you know, I start tapping the speed button, right? And I'm like slowly, slowly like pressing it, right? Trying to get the speed up. So I, I pick the speed up a little bit. After a couple of minutes, I'm just going along, trying to get my rhythm, right? So after again, a couple of minutes after I found a little bit of rhythm, I start upping it again, right? Same thing, getting a bit faster now, right? Get my rhythm going. And then all of a sudden I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it, right? So I just, I hit, hit the button, right? And I went for it, right? I absolutely went for it, right? So I'm now going, right? And I can't, I'm not gonna lie. There's no way I was keeping up with this man. I mean, this man might as well have been an Olympian, right? I was never keeping up with this guy. But what I can say is, is that I was going for it, right? As much as I could possibly Go, I, I was going for it, right? So anyway, after about, no, wait, wait, probably, I probably did about a 10, 12 minute run, right? I got off, I was, I was exhausted. Like I literally, you know, like when you get off and you're like hanging, like I was literally like hanging, hand, hands on my legs, right? My legs felt like jelly, honestly. And in my gym, after you, the gym's at the top, so it's like on a mezzanine floor, so you have to walk down the stairs. And honestly, I was trying to walk down the stairs and I was, I was literally, I don't know how I didn't fall down them, right? But anyway, when I looked at that running machine and I looked at that treadmill after I'd done it, do you know what? I actually felt quite proud of myself because I looked at like the distance that I'd run. I looked at the speed that I was going. I had a sweat dripping off me, right? And I thought, do you know what? I'm actually quite proud of myself there, right? Give myself a pat on the back, right? But it was at that point that a little light bulb went off and it sort of hit me, right? And I, and I sat and I stood there and I thought, do you know what? Had this guy not turned up, right, and stood next to me and done that, do you know what I would have done? I would have just stood next to Danny chatting and just doing a little bit of a call down, right? And I just would have just done like a little bit of a brisk walk, right? And that hit me, all right? Because that is exactly the same as us in our network marketing business, right? And what I mean by that is I'm going to ask you this question. Who are you running with? Who are you running with to Rio, right? Because if, as I said, if this guy wasn't running next to me, I wouldn't have run and I wouldn't have pushed myself to the limit and I wouldn't have, you know done my new year's resolution by by you know getting onto the cardio i wouldn't have done it but this guy pushed me to my limit okay and i wanted to keep up with it okay and it's exactly the same in your business so many times you go out in your business right and you might be on your own right and you might be sitting as i said this is a long-term incentive okay and you might be sitting there and you might be comfortable you might be going through the motions right you might be you know sort of like i was like plodding along like i was on the treadmill right? That is only going to get you a life of mediocrity, right? And the same way that I, I would never improve my cardio if I was taking that same, same, you know, mindset, all right? You have got to make sure if you want to get to Rio, right? And you want to get on that plane, you are running with the people that are getting there. As I said, I'm getting there. Danny's getting there, right? I'm sure Sarah's probably getting there. Emma Leyland's getting there. Like Natalie Young's getting there. Whoever's going to, they're going to be there. They're going to get there. Why? Because they're running, 100 mile an hour like that guy was running next to me on the treadmill right they're not looking i love this title of this uh, of this uh, talk was about setting the compass do you know where my compass is 
It's north. It's straight ahead to Rio, right? That's it. I'm not looking east, west, south behind me of what's gone on in the past. I am just looking north. That's it. And the same people that get to Rio, right, that are running 100 miles are going to be exactly the same. All right. That's where they're set at. That's where their navigation is taking them. OK, so ask yourself if you are struggling in a certain area of your business. OK, who are the people that you need to get around? All right. If Sarah's fantastic at a DMO, then bloody get around Sarah. Right. Because, you know, full well, she's going to do the do. OK. If someone's great at recruitment, I don't know, I think I saw Kira and it's called great at recruitment, get around Kira, watch what she's doing, all right, because she's recruiting. That's what I'm saying. These people are going to be there no matter what because they're running, all right? And if you want to be successful and you want to get to Rio, right, you can get there, but you've got to run with the people that are running, all right? So that's my sort of tip number two, okay? All right, tip number three, all right, is I always say to people, right, we can post content all day long. Right, we can. We could post 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times a day if we wanted to, whether it's posting, stories, reels, you name it. Okay. But if you want to be successful and you want to build your team and you want to build it fast, I can tell you now the one thing you've got to get good at is inviting. All right. Inviting people to as many of the tools that we have available. We have got incredible tools, just like a call like this. We have incredible tools, right? Every single day at our disposal, right? So, in other words, We've got freeway chats, right? That you can invite people in, right? So if my team are trying to look to recruit, they're interested in the business, get them in a freeway chat with me. Get them in a freeway chat with Danny and we'll help seal the deal, okay? So inviting people to freeway chats, inviting people to online events, right? Inviting people to offline events, inviting people to double live videos. If you do, so many people do, I see people do double live interviews and they don't invite no one to it. What, what are you doing it for? Right. The reason we do this is so that you can invite and tag people on on these things so that people get exposed to the product and the business. Inviting people to your product potential groups, inviting people to your business potential groups, inviting people to a free value group, to a presentation, whatever it is. But you cannot go a day if you want to get to the You cannot go a day and not have a mission of inviting somebody to something. All right. To expose somebody to something about the product or the business. There's no point posting all day long and then looking at the end of the day and thinking, have I spoke to anyone about the business or the product? Have I invited anyone to a, to a freeway chat? Have I invited anyone to an online event? Have I invited anyone to a product group? If you've not invited anybody, your business is not going to grow. It's as simple as that, okay? So you've got to make it your mission to every single day should be at the forefront of your mind, who am I inviting today and to what? OK, so look at that. All right. And again, guys, look, if you're leaders and you've got teams and this is what you should be duplicating, right? You've got all the tools that are available. You're probably the ones that head up those tools. No point having those tools if people are not inviting people to it because your team are not going to duplicate. It's not going to grow. OK, so make sure you're inviting people. All right. And my last one, I hope I haven't run out of time, but my last one, OK, is making sure, right? I want you probably to write this down. All right. If you want to get to Rio, write these words down. You are in control, okay? You are in control. Nobody else, you. So what I mean by that is, right, who's in, who's in control of how many times they post in a day on their social media? You. Who's in control of how many people you can message in a day across any platforms that you use? You, okay? You are in control of every single area of your business. Who's in control of how, what time they get up of the morning? You. Who's in control of their DMO? You. Who's in control of their time management? You. Every single about, thing about this business, this is what I love about this industry and this business, is because it's based on your own effort. It's based on how you, you, know, you coordinate yourself, how disciplined you are, consistent you are, but it's, and, and, and your, you know, how much you go out there and you, and you show up every single day. It's you. You're in control of it. No one else is in control of it. Your upline's not in control of it. Your sideline, your downline, the, the company, nobody. You, you are in control. I never, ever forget that. Okay, so if you want to get to Rio, know that straight hat, first hand. You're in control of getting those 50 points. No one else. Okay, and when you get that, you're in control of getting the next lot and getting the next lot. Okay, so think about that. And I just want to leave you with that. All right. So I hope that this sort of, you know, call has been useful. and My talk has been useful. And so I know other guys are going to, um, talk about other other things and you know to, to, to do, do the do's and I know I've got an amazing uh, QNMD that's going to come on and share a little bit of her tips and stuff about how she's going to be setting her compass to Rio but uh, yeah I hope that was useful. 
Ross, that was absolutely incredible. I just love the energy that you bring every time that you talk. It's literally like you get this heart, this certain amount of time and it's just like bang, 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 bang. Everyone's literally so excited, so much energy. Um, I also hate it when someone comes on the treadmill next to me and does that. But you're <laughs> right, it, that is so annoying. But it does really, really push you to, to just perform better. So absolutely. I absolutely love that analogy and surrounding yourself with people who are ready to run. So do you want to introduce your guest speaker? Yeah, go, let's go for it. I mean, look, I mean, Ellie, I mean, what can I say? I mean, she's just an absolute diamond and pleasure to work with every single day. She really is. And she's someone, you know what? Why I wanted to get Ellie on is after me is because she's someone that is also like no excuses, right? No excuses. I mean, the lady, I mean, I don't, I don't even know how she does it, right? She's got three kids, all right? Um, Cece, Sonny and Bodhi, you know, and she's just literally like work ethic is just non-stop like and I know she's going to be on the plane you know and I love working with her every day she's an amazing uh, role model she's an inspiration to our team so uh yeah Ellie Myhill you know come on and, and do your thing and just to let people know about like you know sharing a few sort of tips about how you you're sort of thinking you're going to get to Rio and um yeah go for it oh what a nice introduction thank you ross um okay so yeah for me i have been in the business five years um i've always been big about the long-term goals and big vision and obviously like ross is saying yes take it step by step but ultimately this is a big vision it's a big goal getting to rio and i love that i absolutely love that because i think to be in this business long term you have to know what you're working for and this is something i've always really focused on you have to be able to visualize the life you want and know exactly why you're waking up each day and why you're working each day you know and you can have smaller goals and yet of course you know that might be like materialistic things or you know certain things you're going to get yourself um and that's great in my opinion when you've got momentum you know when you're smashing it when you've got you know customers coming in team members your pay lines growing you're hitting these smaller goals that's amazing okay but it's the long-term goals, in my opinion, that's going to keep you playing the game when momentum drops and when probably motivation drops. Because we're not going to, you know, we're going to be honest here. In this time between now and Rio, you're not going to be motivated every single day. You're going to have days where you do struggle, where, you know, maybe your, your pay line dips a little bit or you're not quite hitting the goals you want to hit. And when that happens, you have to lean on discipline. And this has been like the fundamental thing for me and my business over the last five years. And that I think ties in massively with long-term vision. And for me, the reason I love Rio and I got so excited about it is because it just totally emphasizes that long-term goal and that, you know, that vision and the fact that you need discipline 100% because you're going to have to be disciplined in your business to get yourself to Rio. Like at some point, you know, yeah, okay, you might be driven by momentum for a lot of it, which is amazing, but you're going to have times where you're thinking, oh, you know, can I do it? Can I do it? And you've just got to have that discipline to get you going. Like, I know I'm going to be going to Rio because it completely aligns with my goals and with how I visualize my future and how I run my business every single day. And that's what I love about our company right now as well is I think our company has an incredible level of long-term vision and that's really special you know very special to be with juice plus because we have that that long-term vision but you have to duplicate that in your business you know like there's days where it is hard if you've got kids or if you're working or whatever where you know you don't want to get up and and do your dmo because you're tired or you want to go to bed and i mean most days i'm going to be honest i fall asleep with my phone on my face <laughs> i wake up like oh, where is it because it's that kind of dedication to your business that you're going to have to bring you know it's not like an incentive where now we've got one set in our team um where I think it's like you get 15 orders or you get an, a new SP go into a draw to go to Marbella like that's great you know and momentum can get you there you can totally do that 100% Rio it's a big vision like Ross said you have to be committed to that every single day and I love that because for me that's how I've run my business for the last five years you know in the times where pay lines dropped or you know I've not been doing what I want to do goal wise in that month with you know teamies or customers I've just remembered why am I doing this what am I working for and I've held on to that vision and you know I, if those that follow me know I'm massively into mindset like your mindset is what's going to get you to Rio 100% and if you're not someone right now who dedicates time every single day to working on you please do it like in my opinion you can do the best DMO ever speak to loads of people but if you don't believe you're going to sign that person up or believe you're going to get an order it's absolutely pointless talking to them because I've been there where you know my head's maybe been a bit distracted and I've been talking to a potential customer and 
as I'm writing, I'm like, do I believe I'm getting this order? And I can feel the difference, you know, right now I can feel that fire when I'm talking to a potential team member. Why am I talking to them? Because I want to change their life and I want them to change my life as well. You know, it's okay to have those goals that yes, we do this business for other people. And when you change other people's lives, your lives change, but you have to have your own long-term goal and vision as well. So I'll leave it there. So I feel like I've been rambling, but no, I'm buzzing for you. I'm so excited. And yes, I'm going to be on that plane. Well done, Ellie. Thank you so much. You know how much I absolutely love you and um, yeah, love watching your page. And I'm I'm like Ross, I'm amazed that you do so much and you fit it around, in around all the kids. So I'll take my hat off to you. And I just love, I feel this excitement in the air at the moment where everyone just got so much they want to say. It's just like, you've got to do this, get your mindset. We're all going to Rio. So thank you, Ross. And thank you, Ellie. Absolutely amazing. And what a kick off to the call this morning. So we're now going to move on to our next speaker, which is the amazing Sue Worrell. She's a national marketing director. Sue has been a nutritionist for over 30 years running clinics in Cardiff and London, taking Juice Plus for almost 17 years and she is going to be talking to us today about our star products. Hi. Hi Sue. I'll just go on and start sharing straight away. Um, yes please. So that we Thank get you. going. Um, so yeah I've been taking Juice Plus for 22 years now. So yeah, I'm I'm actually 75 next month and I don't feel any different than I did when I was 35. Um, so Juice Plus has got a lot to make my life a lot better. Fantastic uh, talk, Ross, absolutely brilliant. Really cracked me up, just brilliant. I don't have New Year's resolutions, I'm, I have words. So my business words this, this year are focus, um, consistency and enjoy every day. And I've got three words for you today because to get that fire that Ellie was talking about and to get that confidence, you need product knowledge because if you stumble too much over it, they will lose confidence in you. So the three words I want you to think about are um, learn, learn about the products, understand what the products do so you know how to match them up and then really know the products. So you stand there with confidence and you get that fire to, to do your sales. So this is me. I live life um, same now as I did in my 30s. Don't see any reason why I shouldn't. And um, we're constantly being told we need more fruits and vegetables. But do we listen? Do we help? Uh, we look after our cars better than we look after our bodies. We spend more on our cars, most people, than we do on our bodies. And every day, especially in this world now, we've got increasing toxins along with a load of invading viruses that have added in this, 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 this last few years. So more than ever, we really need to look after our health. The other thing we've got coming in is um, ultra processed foods. There's tons of people changing to vegan and they're using processed meats, which are not real meats. They're grown and they've got a bunch of chemicals in them. So even people who are already vegan really need the help. In fact, they need it more. They need the help of your project and you've got the answer for them. And if you just understand what exactly it's given them, then you will really get the sales in and that will definitely get you to Rio. So we need in our body, we don't need 19 or 25 vitamins and minerals in big doses. And more people are buying vitamins than ever. I was looking at a study with all the sales. Sales are going to be enormous. Everybody's on multivitamins again. And uh, we know that they are not nearly as powerful as Juice Plus, but you need to understand and learn why. So we need to look at farmers, um, run uh, from farms, food from farms run by farmers, not pharmacists. And that's what Juice Plus is all about. More important, people understand and doctors understand um, a bit more now. So everywhere you go, people are talking about your microbiome and the link between your gut bacteria and your other bacteria, which is called your microbiota and your brain and how your immune system works. We have an incredible immune system. This is a cancer cell being attacked by someone with got a really good immune system. And those are called T cells and so there are smart do. cells. We and they do. implode, they, they go into the, the cancer and, the see your presentation. and then that blows up the cancer cell and it gets in our waste system. Our body does that. And what do we need for our body to do that? And anyone, doctor or, or scientist will tell you what we need for that more than anything else is fruits and vegetables. It's as simple as so, that. 
So sorry to interrupt you. We can't see your presentation. Oh it's not no, sharing. okay. Oh, sorry, James. Right. No, 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 yeah, no, no, sorry to back. interrupt you. you. No, not at all. See if I can go back. Um, I'll raise. I just slipped through it then. Um, what? Maybe the screen didn't share properly. Let me just check. Yeah, that's it. We can see now. Can you see it now? Too. Okay. Well, it's just so, a purple screen, but I don't know if it's coming. No, no, no. It shouldn't be that. Oh, let me go and try it again. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know why it's doing this today. Um, now, can you see it? Yes, we've got it. We're here. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So just go over what I think of what I said. So um, this is... Start, 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 go on, start. Right. So this, this is me, just the same now in my 30s, taking Juice Plus for 22, 23 years. We look after our cars more than our body. We've got more than ever increasing amounts of toxins. More and more people are eating processed foods and people like vegans who are trying to be healthy need Juice Plus more, if not uh, as much, if not more than anybody else. And what we need is food from farms run by farms, farmers with an F, not with a PH from pharmacies. Our microbiome is mega important. And the one thing that keeps that going is fruits and vegetables. That's how we make and grow varieties of bacteria that really, really have a huge impact on our health. This is the cell, the cancer cell, the breast cancer cell. And this is our own immune system, those pink little fluffy T cells that go in and, and perforate it and just explode this perforin protein into the cancer cell until it implodes and goes up through a waste system. So what I love about Juice Plus is that it does everything else as well. It encourages everything else. It isn't just a quick fix capsule or a quick fix, fix drink. It's about encouraging a healthy lifestyle. And all the new websites are looking amazing. Now, the one thing is I'm still trying to get into the hub. I've only been in there once. The hub has an amazing array of information and it's exactly what you all need to, to get that extra, to find your own UX, unique selling points. So if you can't get into the hub, get hold of the office and get on. I'm going on on Monday. I've got a new business contact and she couldn't get me on. So it's no good them having a fantastic facility, but we must all be able to get on. So if you can't get on, make sure you can. So food is our fuel. And Juice Plus is food. Juice Plus is not really a supplement because it's made from real food because it's grown pristinely and it's made from the essence of the food that we grow. So nutrition is the foundation of everything that we do and how our body looks after us. These are just an array of chemicals we get hit with on a daily basis. So we need to be taking this product daily. We really need to have it every day in our body. Um, and if you've got someone who says, oh, I take it intermittently, they're doing their body more harm than good because they, every time their body gets a, a, a taste of Juice Plus, it soups up everything. And then if they miss out for a few days, then the body has to work extra hard and then it does the same again. And it, they're putting themselves on their bodies working too hard. So make sure they take it regularly. It doesn't work in the cupboards, funnily enough. So... We've got a fantastic science in Juice Plus. And this guy, Manfred Lamfrec, amazing guy. I've met him a couple of times. And he is brilliant at translating all the science into everyday language. So there's loads of videos by him. Go and seek them out. Um, they're on our website. If not, they're on the US website. You can find them. Um, and go and listen to them all. I put them on in the car as well, although I know them all. Put them in the car. To really absorb them and understand what it's saying. So we need seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables every day. I've been saying, I've been saying 15 to my uh, clients and patients for years, but we need that. Um, and we, we, need it, we need it now. And Juice Plus just makes that up. We need to eat good food with it. Yes, it doesn't replace our really good food, but it really makes a difference to the foundation we put in there before we start to eat that good food. And what's more, when we put it in our bodies, that body craves that good food so how good is that if you've got a child that's never tasted or doesn't like um, the, the texture of fruits and vegetables and you get them on juice plus 
they will start craving different fruits and vegetables themselves. So the capsules, the biggest thing about the capsules is the fantastic amount and, and um, uh, quality of the produce that's in them. They've got other things in them. If you look at the, at the um, ingredients of the capsules, then you might see some long words you don't understand, but believe me, there's nothing in there that the body cannot disseminate really quickly. And it's there to mix the, the, the fruits and vegetables together or to keep them intact. And it just is, it goes into HO2 in the body very easily. The capsule itself is even now made from polylan. When I started to take it, we didn't have anything like this. And we were nagging the company for vegetarian capsules. We've got this amazing polylan, which is fermented tapioca and disintegrates in the body really quickly. So we absorb these amazing nutrients, thousands of them, not just 19 or 20. Our body doesn't need um, that many of huge amounts. It needs thousands of tiny amounts. And that's exactly what Juice Plus does for us. We've got this fantastic certification. Not many people can get that. And our, our company has got that. And we can be confident to tell people we've got that. Um, oh, my patches come off the papaya floating around my mango. Um, so the company, keep up to date. That's another thing I love about the company, the research and how it keeps up to date. So the world supply of papaya wasn't going very well. The papayas were getting bad quality. There was not enough of them. So they immediately changed the mix, took papaya out and put mango in. Now, every mix has to be certified and registered. So that wasn't an easy task, but they did it as soon as they can. So now we've got mango instead of papaya. And that's how good they are at keeping up with the latest science. So most of us manage enough micronutrients, although some of us are not very really good at that either. And that's where Juice Plus Complete comes into its uh, effect. But we don't get enough micronutrients. Now, this is off the... Um, the, the website that is about the science. So I really encourage you to go on this website. I've got the link further on, I think. Um, it was given to me yesterday and I hadn't seen it until then. So this is um, the, 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 uh, the website that shows you what um, Juice Plus does. There's the link to the website. I'll put it in the chat at the end, but if anyone hasn't been on there, go on there. The information is now really simple. It's the best thing we've had ever. And all the information you need is, is on there about the science. And if you've got that little extra bit, if you've got two distributors in one area, you know your product, you know what the science does, you know how to put them together, put whatever that, listen to the, the customer, whatever they're looking for. If you know that, you'll be the one that they go to because they'll trust you and come back to you. So I'll put that in at the end. So find that if you can. Our ongoing research is also brilliant. This is the first bit of research. You'll find that on, I think you'll find this on our website as well as the US one. Um, it's all about the, about the bio, um, bioavailability when you take all of those together. Um, and this is the um, University of Canada and it's a psychological function. Um, and then this one is on um, a metabolism, metabolism and oxidative stress, which is the first thing that Juice Plus started to brag about. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like fruits and vegetables. It's the big thing that's aging, it causes diseases, it causes our body to be acidic. Oxidative stress is what we want to get rid of. So we've also got informed choice when I started to take Juice Plus and use it. Um, there was no informed choice and all my sports people wanted to know why. Um, it done. There was informed choice when I got the um, a, a Paralympic cyclist who fell out of the sky and broke his back to um, get a two gold, a gold and two silvers in the in 2012 Olympics. He was tested immediately and found to be no no problem at all, no nasty things in his body. So the combination of having our fantastic capsules with the variety the 30 varieties of, of exactly what our body needs to have the synergy is the is the, the children's chewies. And there are some adults who won't swallow the tablets. I say if they don't, they don't, they need to double up on those on those uh, chewies, but they are really good if people don't like them. The health study program, you need to go and look into that and look at the figures on the study because the figures are astronomic. Um, no other company's ever done a thing with children. You can't put 
get children on studies, but that is a, a, a brilliant results for our, our fantastic project. So at the moment, there's a lot of talk about polyphenols and about um, berries and how they help heart disease, because there's a load of people with exacerbated heart disease because of the lockdown, et cetera. And we know that berries reduce um, the, the um, mortality by 30%. They brought a drug out which almost killed people, and that only increased it by 50%. So that was ditched. But you've just got to eat the berries. And our berries are amazing. If people can't afford anything else, just get them on the berries. Um, and that alone makes the difference. I've turned around, I think it's 20 people now from being a diabetic or pre-diabetic, so not on the spectrum. And two of them only took the berries and, and some complete because they couldn't afford any more. So the berries are mega important. Read up on the children's health study. Uh, the, 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 this range is great for sports people. Um, it's so fantastic. We've lost the screen sharing. We've lost the screen sharing. Have you? Yeah, oh. it's, it, we can't see your presentation. Oh, so sorry. I don't know what's happened today. Don't worry. Um, let me go back and see if I can do it again. Screen share. <sighs> Can you see it now? No. What if I... Oh, I don't know why that's happened. There it is. You're coming back on now. Wait, oh, sorry, sorry. don't know what's happened. I never had that before. We, we can see the purple screen, though. All oh, right. No, you're not supposed to see that one. Let's mm. try again. Yeah, it's going to be that. Mm. <laughs> oh, sweet. It's so hot. It's really hot in here, dude. Oh. It's really hot in here. Oh, that's so hot. The heating must be like constantly on, hasn't it? Now, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Don't know why that is. Let me catch up with this then. So I'm down to the complete range. Okay. So these are brilliant for sports people, cyclists. Um, I have a lot of Olympic cyclists. They, they, they take the, the berries, uh, they're, they're, sorry, the pouches um, in their cycle, uh, cycle saddles and they use the bars. Golfers, amazing world champion golfers I work with. Um, they have this at, at, at the, the 12th hole that stops them drifting their mind off and thinking about other things. It's very clean, our products. That's the other thing I love about it. The protein is really highly digestible. It's very clean. And don't let anyone tell you there's too much sugar in this because there is so much um, fiber in there that the oligosaccharides, the sugars, can be easily digested. And we need them. We need oligosaccharides. We just need them in the right way. And Carl Complete has got that. So... All the complete products, all the range is amazing. And I've used it extensively with my my, my families, my pregnant mums, my uh, sports people, all sports and different sports like the different bars. Don't worry about the calories. It's not about calories. Weight is not about calories. Health is not about calories. It's about what's in those calories. The soups are so versatile. In the winter, I take them uh, to meet people. If I'm meeting people in a cafe and I just have a cup of tea from Starbucks or whatever and mix it with the hot water and don't put the tea bag in. They're so great to have. And they're so versatile. And I use it as, as uh, thickeners in stews and stocks. Um, and the extra nutrition they have in there and the, um, the extra protein is really good for us. Um, these are the... Um, the, the boosters, I don't use them much, but I have used them with a couple of people with really high blood pressure because glucomonon is not a pineapple, it's a root and it's high, high dietary fiber and it does help reduce blood pressure. So it's not only good for people who've got a long weight loss journey um, to stop them being hungry, but it's also good for their, their bacteria, their gut bacteria, their gut cleanliness and also to lower their blood pressure. Omegas, gosh, I love the omegas. I can't say enough about them. Uh, learn about what they are. Learn about why it's good because this is only just coming out. Juice Plus is ahead of the game on the fact that it's got a product that mixes three, five, six, seven, and nine together. So just look up the research on that. Just go and do a bit of a Google research. We've got plenty of everything. Um, 
we've got enough DHA and EPA because I was concerned it wouldn't have enough. I'm old enough, so I take three of them. But if anyone's not a bit concerned that it's low, time to take more. But because of the synergy of the others, it does give you more of a boost. And studies have already shown that. And it's good for heart, for eyes, um, for osteoporosis, everything. Absolutely brilliant. And the nicest thing about it is it does not deplete our oceans. It doesn't even disturb our oceans because the algae, schizocytra, is grown on land. It's not easy to grow and it's expensive, but we're worth it. And it is just a brilliant um, way to get omega-3. So let's move on to uplift. Cheers, my uplift this morning. I couldn't live without uplift. I love it. It is just a brilliant pick-me-up that affects your mental cognitive and um, cognicity, and it just lasts all day. And um, whenever I've got late meetings or have to go out and drive back from a meeting, or if we're driving up to Edinburgh and my husband drink it before he drives, it just keeps you on the ball and and it's got all the B vitamins. And I just looked through this morning and it's vastly overpowered by women, this and women and girls and ladies in power. Um, and so it's really good. We, we women need those B vitamins even more than the men do. Uh, and then the new, we know exercise is all about diet as well as actually doing it. Um, and we know that exercise is good for cardiovascular disease, whatever diet or whatever plan you do to help cardiovascular disease, it helps everything else as well. It'll cover weight loss and everything else. So uh, we know exercise is important, but now we have this amazing product with some vitamin D and other really important things added. Um, and don't worry about the, the soy protein because um, it's two different soys. soys are the, the soy, the cheap soy we get well, the soy they feed animals is a completely different animal itself. This soy is pristinely processed. It's it's cold water washed. And there is a, a thing in protein that there was publicity about, about cancers some years ago. But the way this is processed, it, 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 it gets rid of that little um, cells or uh, like germination thing in the proteins. So we have no worry. We have a very clean soy. And it's the only one that gives us all two, 22 amino acids. And it's not just good for bodybuilders. It's great for women as well. Um, we don't want to over protein, but this is a really absorbent protein and really good for our energy levels and keeping us active, especially for busy mums when we maybe miss meals out. So that's it. That's me. That's our project. I'll put the link to that in the in the um chat and if anyone wants to know anything just give me a, a buzz on linkedin thank you very much sue thank you so much that was incredible as always we sorry always it went a bit awire oh god not a problem at all that's the thing when it's all live on zoom isn't it, it can just go either way but no you handled that really well but you know it, it doesn't matter even if you haven't got your slides so the the information that you have and you give us all is always absolutely amazing so can everyone just give a massive thank you to to sue pop in the chat your top takeaways um i learn something new every every time um so i'm going to go through my notes and, and really put all that into practice um have you got a guess sue no i haven't yes yeah, she has sorry, she my people sorry, I, i've arranged <laughs> No uh, practitioners, they're oh, all in sorry. clinic. Um, I think James said there was some, someone coming on Sit anyway. Have you, have you, sorry, sorry, James, I've had to take over from Sarah. So, yeah, no, that Stefan. Oh, Stefan, okay, all right. Uh, uh, Stefan, are you there? Yeah, hey guys, uh, hey, I'm here. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, of course, thank you so much uh, James for inviting me to that call we saw each other not so long time ago in London for one of our amazing events yeah, which myself, my name is, uh, Stephen, yeah, a personal trainer yeah we can't see you are you on camera yes my camera is on yeah I think so yeah, my camera is on. We can't see you. Uh, okay, but yeah. Just give me a second. And it's not—it's not a very good connection. It's slightly. Uh, is it better now? Third, huh? Yeah, are you there?
No, we've lost him. <laughs> James, should I just move on to Emma and then we can chat to Stefan? Yeah, yeah let's move on line. and then we can come back to Stefan if he's available. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, lovely. Okay, Stefan, if you, um, we might chat to you in a, in a few minutes. Okay. Um, so, Hi, I'm Paula. So I've taken over from Sarah. And can everyone just send Sarah some big love because she was incredibly nervous today to have her first Saturday morning back. Um, so anyway, I'm going to introduce our amazing, gorgeous Emma Leyland, who's a PMD in the business and used to work Monday to Friday, seven till seven, commuting to London. Just imagine that, what a nightmare. Um, underpaid and not valued. And um, she's now joined Juice Plus, um, well, she then joined, joined Juice Plus, and she's a PMD in the business, and she's going to be showing today my daily fo focus to make a fortune. Are you there, Emma? Hiya. Hi, Emma. You okay? Thanks. Good. So, hello, everybody. Oh, the call's been so amazing so far. I've literally loved it. Sue's presentation, like, is just so nice to see because obviously I'm not the cleverest person in the world, but it's so nice to hear it from a clever person. And I learned a lot from that. So, thank you, Sue. Um, so, basically, I'm just going to start off. And obviously, this is about my daily focus on how to make a fortune. Um, so firstly, it, this is something that I am so, so passionate about. And, you know, it's mindset and how I start every day is with some form of self-development. Development. So even before I pick up my phone, so I make sure now I don't pick up my phone for about an hour and I work on my mind, whether it's reading a book, whether it's, you know, popping on YouTube, it really gets me going, it gets me in a great mindset and it gets me ready to conquer the day ahead. Um, and there are things that I also do as well. So I make sure this is something that's really important that every single day I write down in the morning three things that I am grateful for. And this could be things that you already have. So obviously I'm grateful that I've got a beautiful apartment. I'm grateful for, you know, my gorgeous doggies. I'm grateful for my amazing business, my amazing team. These are all things I'm grateful for, but you can also write things that you're grateful for in, from the future. So for example, you know, everyone on this call right now, you could all say, I'm Emma, we've lost you there. Are you there? She'll come back. Okay. Emma, are you, we can see you, we can see you moving, but we can't hear you. Are you on mute? We can't hear you. <laughs> Oh, she's coming back in again, I think. It always happens when it's live like this. Yeah. It's one of those mornings, isn't it? When <laughs> IT goes pear shaped. issues. Hi guys, can you hear me now? Yay, we've got you back. Off you go. 
Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um, okay, so I was talking about obviously writing down things that you're grateful for, um, doing things that you're grateful for that you already have, but things that you're wanting in the future. So a lot of you on this call want to qualify for Rio, for example. So you could be writing down, I'm so happy and grateful I've qualified for Rio. And pop a date next to it, pop a date of when you want to qualify for it. So I've got a really, really um, amazing story that I just quickly want to share with you about this because it does really work. So um, back in last beginning of last year, in January, I was going through the process of putting my house on the market, I wanted to sell it and get out of there really quick. And I remember the estate agent coming around and I said to him, in January, I said, okay, by May the 25th, I will be out of this house. That's when I'm going to be gone. And he said to me that that is not very likely at all. So every single day I wrote down in my gratitude, like little diary, I was like, I'm so happy and grateful. I've exchanged contracts on the 25th of May. I'm so happy and grateful, you know, that I've bought my new apartment. And so and behold, I never even realized this until I kind of looked back it was the 25th of May that I exchanged contracts for my house. So it honestly does work if you write down what you're grateful for that you don't have yet. And then you're starting to believe that. So that's something that I'm really, really passionate about, obviously, your mindset. So you need to make sure you're starting your day the right way. So before you pick up your phone, work on yourself. Think about what you're grateful for, because it's a really, really important part of this business, your mindset. So obviously DMO is something we all know about, um, could be otherwise known as daily tasks. Um, so this is non-negotiable for me, like every single day since I've joined this business, my um, DMO has pretty much, it's never changed because it's so simple that everyone can do it. Now everyone has their own way of doing their DMO, but the main principles are, how you grow a business in this, in obviously in our business is we need to widen our audience. We need to connect with people and build relationships and we need to promote our products and our business, right? So how do we do this? It is so simple. So to widen our audience, we need to add new people on our Facebook, follow new people on Instagram. And this is something that you wanna be doing every single day um of course you know a lot of people maybe on here also build face to face that's something that i've personally never done um because i've always just used social media but you want to widen your audience in one way shape or form i mean i guess i have kind of sometimes built face to face so when i was in lisbon i got um the instagrams of a couple of bar bar people and waitresses etc but obviously that's me getting them face to face and converting them over to social media so you want to widen your audience by adding people to your social media then this is great but we'll never just build a business by just adding new people so what do we want to do next we want to be connecting and building relationships with people so how do we do this we want to be replying to people's stories loving and commenting on people's posts and getting into people's inboxes so for example say for i'm i'm scrolling through my instagram i see i've actually this is actually a true story that i've made a connection with someone recently i saw somebody their chihuahua um was poorly like my little Rihanna has been poorly recently so I liked their post commented on that and then I got into their inbox and I just basically said oh I'm really sorry that you're going through this I know how you feel you know my or Rihanna's not very well at the moment you know what's going what process are you going through to get Dolly better um and I've actually made a really good connection with this person now so when you are adding to your network, you want to make sure you're adding people that are essentially your tribe, people that you share interests with. You know, for me, for example, you know, I'm a dog mom, I've got chihuahuas. So I add a lot of like people who have chihuahuas and we all already have that instant connection, something that we can talk about. Um, so connecting with people is really, really important. And it's something that, you know, you have to do to build a business you have to connect with people because you need people in order for them to invest in you to invest in your products to invest to you know building a business with you you need to get people to know like and trust you and building relationships making connections is a very very strong way to do this um and then finally obviously spreading the word promoting what we do and selling you know our products 
This is where posting comes into it. So obviously using social media to post on your Facebook, post on your Instagram, make sure you're using your stories. Stories are really, really important as well. Um, lives, lives of course huge, you know, everybody should be going live minimum three times a week. Um, and reels, now reels are obviously, I know that they can be quite scary and like you don't really know what you're doing when you begin, you know, when you begin it. I've been doing reels now since they came out. I think it's been like, what, two, three years they've, they've been out. And when I first started, I didn't have a clue. I didn't know what I was doing. But like anything in this business, like you have to learn. You have to learn to become good at anything. And everything is a skill that can be learned. So just because you're not very good at something right now doesn't mean that you can't become good at it. So with Reels and TikToks, they are currently the best way to get exposure, to be seen, to get attention. And now I just want to say on this as well, like it's really important to have niches with your Reels. So for example, with me, as I said earlier, I'm a dog mom. So I'll do Reels of me and the girls or just the girls, etc., to obviously get out in that audience. I'm also single at 30. So I really play around and have a bit of fun with doing like single reels, making fun of it, et cetera, like dating disasters, all stuff like that, because that's something that's who I am as a person. And that's, you know, grows my audience with regards to getting other single 30 year olds come in to follow me. Um, because that's the kind of audience that I want to attract. I want to help, you know, single ladies or married ladies as well. But I, I'm really passionate about helping women become financially independent. Um, and not just that as well is um, obviously I'm a businesswoman and I love empowering women. So I love doing reels about, you know, positivity. Um, obviously, I do reels on the business, like looking for ladies who want to earn money, etc. So reels are such an important part of business right now if you're not on you know if you're not doing reels if you're not on tiktok i know it's like can be really scary and like it's unknown i'm still not great at tiktok but i still post my reels onto tiktok i don't dub make double content to put on different platforms i literally record my reels on instagram save them pop them on tiktok and pop them on facebook as well so literally, just to wrap this up for you guys, you know, in order to have a successful business, your mindset is your best asset. But when it comes to the DMO, you must do all three to grow, which is widen your audience, connect and build relationships and get yourself out there and promote, promote our products, promote what we do. And, you know, do it with pride because we have an incredible gift in this business we can give people the gift of health and the gift of wealth and that is so powerful and something that I'm so proud about but yeah I hope that was okay Emma thank you so much that was absolutely incredible I remember the first time I heard you speak on one of our old Wednesday night kind of lockdown calls and I was just like wow this girl she's just absolutely amazing so you know you can see why you got to PMD so quickly so thanks so much for sharing and can everyone just put, put in the um, chat please like a big thank you and uh, also your top tip from um, Emma there and I, I love that the the mindset and just like the first hour just you know get it done and get your mind in that kind of you know the right the right set basically um, did you have a guest have you got I her? Did is it Kerry? find her let me just type her in here she is i'm here can you hear me oh, here, okay. here is my gorgeous kerry she is qssc in the business all the way in future ventura <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my story. And I just wanted to say the importance of offering the business to everybody and not singling people out, not having a preconceived idea about what someone's lifestyle is like. So living over here in Fort Aventura, my husband and I had a really beautiful lifestyle. We were on the beach every day we were posting on our instagram that we had this really lovely lifestyle but when covid hit both of our jobs were taken away from us so neither of us could work and we didn't have furlough we didn't have anything that the government were offering us back in the uk we literally had no income so it went on and on for ages and ages we're over here with our youngest daughter 
And it really got scary. It really got frightening. And we couldn't afford to eat. Sometimes we would, you know, go through the copper, the copper jar and we'd be like, right, we can either buy bread or we can buy water because obviously you can't drink the water over here. So it was awful. It was desperate. It was petrified. My parents thought they were going to fly us back to the UK because they couldn't look after us over here. And I remember this is this is what I mean about offering the opportunity to everybody. The only person on my social media that was a network marketer was Emma Leyland. And I always remember watching her and thinking, this is incredible for her, but it's not something I ever want to do. You know, I'm a sun care advisor. I earn a good wage. My husband is a personal trainer. He travels the world and does all these fitness events. Our life is lovely. Network marketing is not something I want to do. Obviously, desperation took over. I obviously went through everything with Emma. She, I didn't tell her, I didn't tell anyone in the business, anyone in our team, how desperate we were. Yeah, and well, the I, said, I hit my second promotion. I remember when my bonus come in, I remember all three of us crying, me, my husband and my eldest daughter, my youngest daughter. Um, I remember us all crying because we could go and get food. I still didn't tell anyone on social media. I still didn't tell Emma. And honestly, I locked into Emma. I locked into the business. I did everything, everything that Emma just explained to you. You get up in the morning, you are grateful that, for the things that you have. So I still had a roof over my head. I still had my beautiful family. And I also had the potential to earn because Emma Leyland to come into my life. And then I did everything else, the DMO. I, I didn't have my own Instagram. I didn't have my own Facebook. So I did all of that. I did the things that I was advised to do from the people that were doing really well. And honestly, I just went from strength to strength, just doing the basics, just doing the DMO. And obviously got to QSSC. I've now quit my full-time sun care advisor job because I will never be in that position again. I will never be in the position that I am dependent on a company for paying my wages. I now pay my wages. I now support us. I now determine how much I get as a wage, but I will never ever be in that position that I can't feed my family that I can't look after my family. So yeah, that's that's my story. So the moral of my story is you never know. You never know who you're offer, offering this opportunity to and who really, really needs it. And I will be grateful to Juice Plus and Emma Leyland forever. Oh, Carrie, that was so beautiful, her story. Thank oh, you so much for sharing. And it just goes to show that what Emma was saying, if we just follow those simple steps that she was saying, it, it works. So a huge congratulations to you and your success and, and, you know, for your future as well. Good luck for your future. So thanks so much for sharing. And thanks again, Emma. Paula, so, Paula, thank Paula, you. Paula, can we just check in on Stefan again? Because I think he's available now. OK, Stefan, are you there? Hey, guys. Uh can yeah, you hear me now? Can you see me now? <laughs> uh, hi, hello, uh, everyone. Uh, thank you so much, James. Um, of course, in the beginning, thank you so much for inviting me on the call. Uh, my name is Stefan. I want to introduce myself first. I'm a personal trainer with uh, 12 years of experience, and I'm holding um, an advanced level in nutrition certificate. And let me start with that. Uh, Sue, your presentation was amazing. I totally agree with you on everything. Like, I think we need to educate people in our business as well what our supplements actually are and what they actually do inside of our bodies so how they make us healthier so guys uh, my story is super simple um, i'm actually waiting at the moment for a hip replacement it's just um, because it's like a really really old football injury and um, through a couple of last years i was using uh, obviously some different supplements and through Millie Jervis Stringer, my amazing upline and uh, my amazing uh, girlfriend, uh, I was introduced to Juice Plus. I didn't heard about it uh, before and uh, those uh, products changed my life. I can tell you that uh, 
especially our Omegas. It's like a liquid gold. Everyone's supposed to be on them as well as on the capsules. They help me to reduce inflammation in my joints and get rid of that pain completely. So for me, they are like our top product. And guys, today I just want to talk a bit our amazing company and take this call to slightly different place. So guys, I want to remind all of you um, about what is actually our company. We are a company with 30 years of experience in helping people to get healthy. Like Ross said, there is plenty of company out there which comes and goes. Our company is still here. We are still here. We are still helping ourselves and our clients to get much, much healthier. So that's one thing which is amazing about Juice Plus company. Second thing is our company, obviously, quality products. No one else out there, I can promise you that, delivers that kind of high quality standard of the product to the customer. So basically, those are those two things. And obviously, our own experience with our products. So for example, they took my health to an amazing height. And I'm sure that they are doing the same thing for all of you guys. So basically, you know, stay on them, believe in our company, believe in our products, and basically share that message to uh, people around the world. You know, this is, I think, that's our main goal in, yeah, being a part of that amazing family. Stefan, thank you thank so you. much for sharing that. That was fantastic. And good luck with your hip replacement. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. See you guys. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much. Um, so we're going to move on to Charity, who's a PMD in the business. And I'm just going to share a little bit about her from, from her words. I'm a mum of two girls and I've been in the business for six years. I was able to quit my job as a customer service manager exactly two years after starting the business. Um, so I'm a PMD and studying to qualify as a certified health and life coach. Uh, lifestyle coach and I'm going to be talking today about flying with your 90 day game plan Charity are you there yeah I'm here yay hi Paula. hi um just to correct some of the things that Paula said I think what you've got of me was from last year I've actually qualified now as a certified health and life coach um seven years in the business now um not six, just gone to seven years um, last year, August. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Flying with a 90 day plan. For those of us who have been in this business for a very long time, or if you're new in the business, we do know that when it comes to a 90 day game plan, it's one of the useful tools that we can actually use um, in building our business. And um, it's something that I believe has actually helped me as well in my business, creating a 90 day plan, especially when you know where you're going to, especially when you look at the fact that you need to determine what your goals are. And for most of us, like we know with the topic that we've got, we've got real incentive and every single person wants to qualify for that incentive, regardless of what your position is in the business. If you're not yet NMD, this is an opportunity for you to build your business to that NMD level. So in order for each and every one of us to do that, we need to determine what our goals are. What is your goal? So my goal, your goal is to ensure that come 2024, I think it's October, am I right? Or August, when is the deadline for the real qualification? that deadline that we need to meet that deadline for us to actually qualify for the incentive. So that's the goal. So what we need to do now is to identify the specific goals that we have to meet. Thank you so much, Emma. Emma has actually talked about daily method of operation, which every single one of us, we take on board and we do it. So now it's for us to take that daily method of operation and set a 90 day game plan for us using that 90, uh, using that um, daily method of operation. And in order for us to do that, to set those goals, we need to make sure that they are realistic goals that you have to meet. So we know that in as much as we say post everyday consistency is the key, but you need to be able to set a time frame for yourself. I'm going to be doing this in the morning. What am I going to be doing in the morning? You have a time where you're going to be reaching out to 
your customers, make it a specific goal, make it a measurable goal. The other thing as well is to break it down, break down these goals into specific, uh, maybe taking the larger goals, which we know every month, we've got a target that we've got to meet. We've got six months that we've got a target that we've got to meet. So break it down. The thing is in that 30 days, the first 30 days of you setting these goals for you are the period I call seed planting. That's when you begin to plant those seeds, whatever seed that you decide to plant. And then you look at the fact that, okay, if I'm able to do this in 30 days, after planting the seeds, what is the next level? You need to water it. So that means you're getting in touch, reaching out to those people that you've spoken to in the 30 days. Build a new set of team members. You've got your team members, build, look for new customers, look for new team members, Go to your virtual office, do whatever you need to do, get all the contact details that you've got there. You've got previous customers who have used this product. Now use this opportunity to be able to reconnect with them. And then if you're able to do that, then you prioritize your tax. So you need to determine what is the most important for you. Is it for you to get more customers? Is it for you to get new front lines that you need? Is it for you to help your team members, your downlines? Is it for you to, whatever is important for you in that task, you need to focus on it first. And that's what you need to prioritize. That's what you need to give that urgent attention to. And then time, allocate time and resources. I'm grateful to Juice Plus. They do the best they can to support us. So we've got the hub, visit the hub get information there are lots of informations in the hub that can actually help you resources in there that can actually help you we are we are operational in over 20 different countries so take a peek where is this incentives where are they who are which countries are participants in this incentives look into those countries and then begin to learn more about them, get the resources from each of these countries and begin to work with them. And that would also help us in us using the um, resources, your time, your personal time that you're giving to the business, if you're giving two hours, three hours, but so long as provided you're making it consistently three hours, because what it is, is I must be honest with you, when it comes to a 90 day game plan, it can actually be stressful, very, very stressful. So it's always important that you set out time. And as you tend to do this along, as you're doing it either yourself or with the, your team, remember that to avoid that stress, making that 90-day um, game plan stressful for your team, celebrate every little success. Every little success that your team members achieve, every little success that you achieve yourself, celebrate it because that would help you to move forward in the 90 day game plan. And then create yourself a daily or weekly plan, develop a daily or weekly plan of action that outlines the task that you are going to be um, completing in order for you to achieve the goals of going to Rio. And then monitor your progress. If you feel in the first week, I've done this, and then you look at the fact that I haven't put in much effort, monitor the progress that you are doing. Regular, regularly monitoring your progress and making adjustments as needed. Make those little, little adjustments that you need in order to put you on track and in order to make you stay on track in that 90 day game plan. And then um, evaluate and, and adjust. Every month we've got 90 days game plan. If you split it into three different months, if, if, if you split it into months, you're looking at three different months. So at the end of each month, look at what you've done, evaluate, evaluate your progress, you know, adjust your plan if it's needed or as needed as you go on that 90 for the next 90 days. And then um, what I also wanted us to look at is the fact that, okay, when you are doing the 90 day game plan, it actually allows you, I want to give us one or two advantages why it's necessary and why it's important for us to get on that 90 day game plan is the fact that one, it increases your accountability. You are more accountable for the task that you are gonna be taking for the next 90 days. 
Two, it helps you to reevaluate what you are doing. Am I doing it right? And what am I doing wrong? And then also it helps you for better prioritization. So that means it helps you to prioritize your task and to focus more on what is the most important goal for you, for every single one of us on this call, whether you're SP or QSSC, your goal, your task is to get yourself to NMD before that October, 2024. That's what each and every one of us goal is in order for us to actually qualify for the incentive. So what this would do is it would help you. So ensure it will also help you to ensure that you're making most of your time. So if you've got a weekly or a daily activity that you've mapped out for yourself, and as you get on each activity, you give it a tick. So that way you are accountable for yourself. You don't need someone else to say to you, you need to be doing this or doing that because you've already set that goal out for yourself. You've already mapped out that goal for yourself. And it would also, it helps to increase your motivation because when you look at the progress that you are making in that 90 days, it would help you in that 90 days period to increase your motivation and your drive to keep going. Because when you see the fact that, oh, this week I've been able to get two, three customers. This week I've been able to get, so that means if I put in more effort next week, I can get more. So your motivation and your drive to keep going would always be intact. And I wanna say this to you, in as much as when we look at, like I said earlier, when we look at the 90 day plan, it's a valuable tool that each and every one of us must engage in to ensure that we stay focused and motivated and also make progress towards our desired um, goals. Thank you. I absolutely loved that chart. It was absolutely amazing. I, you know, just, and it, it just makes so much sense, doesn't it? Just make sure you've got all that structure there and just keep yourself focused and just treat it as a proper job, you know, because so yeah. many people, um, you know, including myself, <laughs> some of the time, I, you know, you're kind of, oh, I'll just do it later. I'll just do it later. But you just have that focus there and just tick it all off and then celebrate your success as you go along. I absolutely loved that. So thank you so much. And can, can, can everyone please put in, in the chat um, their top tips from, from charity there and also a really big thank you. And have you got, have you got a guest there yeah have i have got stella Hello. stella where are you i'm here over to you stella hello 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 everyone wow i'm here live and direct yeah i thank you for this opportunity of uh, coming to this platform and this forum yeah before i Continue. I just want to briefly share my story because it's very important to me. Are you seeing me? Okay. Before I started this uh, business, I've not been long in this business. I've just been about a, a year plus. I was having health issues. And uh, one of the health issues was uh, just pains on my back and on my shoulder, left shoulder. I could not stand erect. And I could not lie down on my left shoulder on my left uh, side. And so I was worried, thinking that that was going to be the end of my health journey. But a friend introduced me to this uh, use plus. And uh, but before then, I was going to the stores to buy Omega. Even though I didn't know anything about Omega, I was going to shop, the shop for Omega 3. But when I was introduced to this uh, juice plus something, I just started with the premium, I mean, uh, the premium uh, capsules, the protective bundle, and I started using them. Lo and behold, before you knew it, all my symptoms just surprisingly disappeared. And uh, right now, I can lie on my left side, I can stand erect, and I can do very powerful exercises like we are doing now on straight 10. Every day, we are doing it up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. And I'm not getting tired. The dizziness and everything that was driving me crazy have all disappeared and I'm very happy about it. So because of my testimony, I share the juice plus uh, about, about this product with anybody who cares to hear about it. And uh, I'm making progress. Though I'm not there yet, but I intend to get there. Our people say that 
if you want to uh, do well, very well, just follow those who know the road. And I'm following uh, Charity Bumper to Bumper so that I know what she's doing and they should be able to get there. Luckily, the Rio is coming 2024 and Juice Plus as a company with a, a, a golden heart has given us the opportunity. And uh, the way it is, anyone who works very hard can get there. And I'm working towards getting there. I'm working towards getting there and I'll be there by the special grace of God and through hard work. And uh, as we do this 90 days uh, journey, we are going to do it, I'm going to be in it. As we do this 90 days journey, I hope I will succeed. I've been to some um, a convention that like the one at Birmingham Leadership Convention, I was uh, super, I was seriously inspired and I'm more and more inspired by this Zoom and uh, all that has been discussed by Ross, by, uh, by Charity, Emma and everyone. So, and I, uh, my mindset have already shifted and I'm very sure I will make it at the end of the day being focused. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity and uh, God bless you all. Thank you so much for sharing that. That was so lovely. And um, I wish you all the success on your journey. So, you. and we're next gonna go on to Marianne Egan, who's an NMD in the business. Now we've got, a, we've, she's she's an absolute superwoman is, is Marion. So just hold on tight while I go through all of this. Right, so complimentary health coach, fitness instructor, kinesiologist, I think I said that wrong, reflexologist, Brian Jin instructor, um, emotion code practitioner, artist, author, card deck creator, and healing deck creator, uh, 30 years in practice, empowering people to heal themselves. And 2002, got introduced to Juice Plus, um, and it was a life-changing experience. Uh, love sharing knowledge and tips and hints on how to stay happy and healthy. And um, Marion's um, website is marionegan.ie. And she's going to be talking today about why I'm so passionate about the Juice Plus company. Are you there, Marion? I am, Paula. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you, uh, James, for asking. And thank you to everybody for being here today. Um, why am I so passionate about the Juice Plus company? Well, let me tell you why. When I was in the early stages of business, I had a lady ring me who had asked me to take care of her husband. Her husband wasn't too well and uh, very vulnerable. And I promoted Juice Plus to him. Now, this was the phone call. Marion Egan, how dare you? take advantage of my husband by giving him or promoting those capsules. How dare you? How could you associate yourself with such a company? So let me tell you why. Now that, that was in the very early stages. Um, so I thought about it. And um, well, first of all, my story was as a fitness instructor, I was teaching classes. I was running my clinic. I had three children and I was a very busy mom. And one morning I woke up just after Christmas, January 2000, I woke up and found it very difficult to walk. So I investigated, obviously seeing, uh, seeking help for that. And it was three weeks before I got to see um, a doctor. And uh, eventually over time that I couldn't sit, I couldn't stand and I could not walk. And I spent four months in my bed my bedroom now I did attend the hospital it was an osteopath uh, uh, not an oste uh, orthopedic surgeon um, who I was seeing and periodically but eventually in that was January 2000 and in June 2000 he recommended that I see a neurosurgeon which I did and I actually saw a neurosurgeon the very next day after he recommended it which was really unheard of because normally you have to wait months to see these people so I had an MRI scan done and it was discovered that one of my discs was protruding so much it was pressing on my spinal cord. Now bearing in mind I've been doing that for six months. So the nerve to my bowel and bladder was now compromised. And he said, if I don't operate as soon as possible, if you lose the nerve, nothing, no surgery is going to bring that back. 
So within two days, I, I was actually, that was a Wednesday. And on the Friday morning, I had emergency surgery on my spine. And I'm thinking, okay, happy days. If something falls on the floor now, I can bend down and I can pick it up. Before that, I couldn't. And I'm waiting for the recovery to happen. So a couple of weeks go by. Now I have surgical pain, which is understandable. Um, a few weeks go by, a few months go by. A year goes by. It was two years and nine months later that I got the invitation to go and hear about Juice Plus. And that was listening to Dr. Marilyn Joyce, um, who came from the States to Dublin and gave her talk. Now I actually went to that talk and lucky enough, I'm so blessed. I was sitting there waiting for the talk to start. And I realized I just wanted to slide onto the floor and curl up into a fetal position because sitting still was so uncomfortable. I was still in a lot of uh, pain. And I actually got up to leave. And as I was leaving, a fellow kinesiologist came in. And of course, I had trained with him and I hadn't seen him for a long time. So obviously, we started talking. And before I could leave him, a reflexologist came in and I had trained with her. And, you know, suddenly the room started filling up and Dr. Marilyn Joyce came in and the talk started. I'm so blessed that I was prevented from leaving that room because I did not know about Juice Plus. And so I signed up for it then, then and there anyway, and uh, started taking it. But it was in the early stages when I got that call, how dare you? And the reason I dare is Juice Plus gave me back my health. My children got their mother back. My husband got his wife back. My clients got their therapist back. And I was so, so grateful. Now, the, the one thing I'll say to you and listen to this and do take this on board. It's so important to take care of your customers because Damien Brennan, who kindly introduced me to this, he would ring me. And he'd say, Marion, how are you doing? And I'd say, Damien, it's not working. And a week or so would go by and he'd ring me again. And I'd say, no, it's not working. And he kept ringing and ringing and ringing. I probably was on my second delivery, which, as you know, is seven, eight months. And I'm still telling Damien that it's not working until I hung up one day. And my daughter said to me, Mom, just look at all the little things you've done around the house. She said, it is working. I can see the difference in you. You know, you're doing more than you were doing before. She said, it is working. So customer care is key and vital. And what I say to people is, you know, these are your builders. These are your cleansers. Your fruits are your cleansers. And your berries are your boosters. And then for brain health. But these are for brain health as well, because I've seen so many people getting so well on all of them. So the product itself stands, it, it works. It worked for me. And that's why I am so, so passionate about it. You know, another lady came into my practice one day and she said, look, do you think these are working? Because I'm taking these now and I don't really know that they're working. So I lay her on my couch and I did a 14 muscle balance, which is testing each muscle to see how strong is it. So your muscles will either stay strong or go weak, depending on, uh, on the person. So I took just the fruit and veg. I didn't take anything else, just the fruit and veg. I tested her muscles. She would about, um, out of the 14, she would about 10 that were weak. And I just placed them on her body. And then I retested the muscles and they were strong. Now, that's me seeing the physical physicality of how these support the body. Um, kinesiology is biofeedback. Your body knows exactly what's wrong and your body knows exactly how to correct it. So a lot of what Emma said earlier and what, what Ross said earlier about gratitude, when you are grateful, you will your 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 brain will hit you with a dopamine and serotonin hit. It's a hormone change, right? So the more grateful you are, the more you're going to be living with happy hormones. When you're living in fear, we have, you know, you've got fear. And the fear will give you the fight, flight, freeze or flock. So you'll try and get into a crowd so that you won't be noticed flocking with people. You'll freeze, you won't actually move or you'll run or you'll fight. And fear will 
flood your body with cortisol and adrenaline. So to change your state, even if you just go for a walk, you're going to change your emotion. The, the, the word is in the clue, emotion. So when you change your state and you get your dopamine and serotonin levels, just by feeling grateful for what you have, what you do, it's so, so important. We can make massive changes just by our thinking. And in this business, your mind is the most important thing. Master your mind, having a good mindset. So I'm going to ask each and every one of you, how dare you not share this with other people? We have such a gift to give to people. It is our responsibility and we owe it to ourselves and to others just to tell them what we have. And just by telling people and supporting them and helping them and give them the opportunity of the financial future that some people are crying out for right now and they don't even know that this exists because we haven't got to them yet. So we have a massive job to do, you know, we really, really have. So don't let anyone else rob you of your future happiness and financial security just by what they think. If somebody has a problem with you, then it is their problem. You are not the problem. Just be your best, do your best and become your best. And one other piece of advice I'd say just for today, all you need to do is just do it today because yesterday is the past. Tomorrow hasn't come yet. Today is the best gift you'll ever give yourself. So just do your best today and become your best today and watch the magic happen. Thank you. Oh, Marion, what a, what a story that was. What an incredible story and what an absolute blessing that Juice Plus came into your life um, yeah. and, you know, completely changed it for the better. Well, do you know, if I had listened to that lady and I had taken on board what she said and walked away, as Ross said earlier, do not regret leaving, right? Do not leave. Do something to make a change. If it's not working for you, do something to make your change within you. We can only change ourselves, you know. But if I had walked away, I would not have met the amazing Alice Kennedy, who I'm going to invite now to tell her story when Alice found me. So over to you, Alice. Thanks, Marion. I just can't thank you enough. Good morning, everybody. Lovely to see you all on here and to be on this call today. My God, such amount of information is coming out. Um, just to give you an idea of where I fit in, met in Marion and, and where I came into the picture of Juice Plus and the whole lovely journey that has been since 2006. At that time, I was a busy working mom. I was working 40 hours a week as a guard. I was running a drug awareness for parents group, heading up a dyslexia association. And generally, uh, like a lot of busy moms, spinning plates in the air, trying to keep everything operable, trying to keep everybody in the house happy, uh, rear three teenagers. And in the third week of February, our only son attempted suicide. And when that happened, it literally, it brought a crisis to this house, but it also changed my life. Because at the time, I knew nothing about nutrition. I tried to feed the kids as best I could, giving the knowledge and the information that I had. We had three properly, as best we could, balanced meals, as I thought. Um, I used to juice because I was looking after holistic health as well. Um, I understood the importance of, of, you know, looking after the body and that kind of thing. But when my son's crisis presented, oh, my God, was I out of my depth. He had a learn he has a learning difficulty. He's dyslexia affected, hasn't bothered him since he left school. Just the school years were the challenging years. But the interesting thing is he was put on a drug called Ritalin. Some of you may know this. It's a drug that's given to children with ADD, ADHD, severe skin acne. Um, and basically it suppresses the serotonin in the brain. So for a child who is in an environment where they're trying to keep up with the rest of their peers, 
they're trying to perform to their parents and their uh, teachers' requirements. Life is very challenging. And basically, he had had enough. He, within 10 and a half weeks of going on the drug, I saw him deteriorate, literally, day by day by day. And it got to the stage where I didn't really know what I was going to do. I was trying to keep him alive. He left the school system. He was gone and he walked around his bedroom upstairs for three, literally for three weeks. Um, and I didn't know how to fix the situation. I didn't know how to address it. I'd gone to doctors. Uh, we, they referred him to clinical psychologists. They put him on the drug. And it was just a vicious circle until, thanks be to God, my tutor at the time when I was doing my own study gave me Marion Egan's number. And on a Monday evening, Marion made a cancellation available to us. I went to her clinic. She saw Ian and she put him on whole food nutrition. And I hadn't a clue. She might as well have been giving him coal for all I knew because I was so stressed as a mother trying to keep her only son alive. I would have done anything. I would have allowed her give him anything. And really, when she put him on those capsules, I didn't know just how magical or how powerful they were going to be. And long story short, we went home with Marion's supply that night. She ordered some for me and Ian started the very next day. And literally within three weeks, he decided to go back to school. He decided to go back and finish his education. His self-esteem returned. And there was never another mention or another issue of depression or anxiety or not wanting to, to go out in public as there was before. So really, honestly, hand on heart, on my six grandchildren's lives, I tell you this. Juice Plus Nutrition gave us our son back. And this is him now. That's him and his three beautiful sons, our gorgeous, gorgeous grandsons. I really believe, and that's why I became a distributor. I hadn't a clue about nutrition. I hadn't a clue about, you know, uh, why this was working. I just knew that as a mother, as a parent, I have a responsibility to my kids. And I felt for other mums out there who feel that, you know what, our health is our responsibility, but so is our children's health as well and at the end of the day we're the ones who buy the stuff that goes into the press that they're going to eat we're the ones who put the food in their mouth literally like the the, the bird feeding the baby chick so if we don't um look after ourselves and look after them where are they going to end up um and just before i finish something that that uh, stefan said there earlier on like stefan um i fell in october and i had hip surgery and I've been off my feet more or less ever since but the beauty is that while I was off my feet number one I had good nutrition going through my bloodstream and the doctor the surgeon who did my surgery was amazed he couldn't understand how my wound had healed so quick and uh, he said for a woman your age you've got great healing ability things are coming around really good but not alone that I haven't worked in my clinic I'm a, um, I'm a health therapist and I haven't worked in my clinic because of COVID, lockdown, and then uh, this fall for the last three years. But I've had an income come into my bank account on the 10th of each month because I decided to help other people help themselves and their family. So everyone that's on the call here, you've made a great decision. But let's continue to go out and inspire other families, other parents to look after their families better than we have been here Thank you. Alice, thank you so much for sharing your story. And thank you so much as, as you know, sharing the story about your son, you know, so emotional for everyone listening, but what an amazing outcome. And again, thanks, thanks for Juice Plus for, you know, being such a blessing for, for, for all of, all of us and, yes. uh, you know, help. I, I'm, spe I'm speechless actually honestly so you know thank you so much so thank everyone you if you can just put, put, put a big thank you and um you know in the chat and also um to Marion and 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 to Alice you know uh, what, what you what you took away from that so
Are you there, Natalie? Hi, yeah, can you hear me? Can Hi. you see me? <laughs> Hopefully you can see me and hear me. We can. Yeah, okay. fine. Oh, fab. Yeah. So I'm just here to talk to you about the importance of being successful, really, in our business. And um, for me, it's just the fact that I absolutely love what I do. Um, it, even a couple of nights ago, like my husband now, as you say, I can't get used to that. But he was saying to me at like, I think it was like 12 o'clock when, as we call it, deadline day was. And I was signing someone up at nearly 1 a.m. Um, and he was just saying, you absolutely love your job, don't you? And I said, yeah, which I do. And there's just not many people, I think that are like that, which is absolutely incredible, that our business is a business like that where I absolutely love it. So for me, I joined this business, I was a customer. Um, it was the premium capsules for me. They are the reason that I'm here. I say that on every opportunity call that I do or anything, they 100% got me where I am today. I think that because I was a very busy mum, like my youngest two were two and three at the time when I got involved in the business, um, I used to work 50 hours a week. And when I got onto the premium capsules, I just felt more energetic. Like it was hard to, I couldn't really put my finger on it, but I just remember a good few weeks in, quite a good few weeks after being on them, I wasn't like napping before my shifts at work. I would normally like always be running out the door late and stuff like that. And I wasn't, I was doing like putting a wash on. It sounds ridiculous, but that, that's how it was. I just had more energy. And I, I think I was just in a better mood. Like I just felt in a, lifted mood as such so I began talking to the other girls in work about the products and things and I was saying like this juice plus actually does work I think like I feel good from it um and that was kind of why I thought I'll, I'll look into the business because I kept sending people over to Carly and I remember thinking you know I wonder if I could kind of get involved and do this I was really struggling at the time you know we were very broke as a family I was in debt and we just couldn't afford to live so I thought if I could earn an extra £200 a month from this, it would be amazing. So that was what I got involved wanting. I had no idea it would obviously lead on to what it's led on to um, or anything like that. But I was even like on one of my pages yesterday, my admin page is talking to my team and I was saying to them like last that this last four weeks, like I've been really back to business and so focused. And I think the good thing about our business is you fall in love with it again, but that's just a decision. Like you decide to commit and, you know, really run with it again. And that's where I'm at right now. And every single time I do that over the past nearly 10 years now, I just see massive results in my business. And I just decide to go back to partner mode. It's as simple as that. I don't, I don't ever think, oh, well, I'm a PMD plus now, so I can just, you know, live on this residual income. That's absolutely not for me because I love what we do. I love this business. I love the products. So I will talk to everyone about them as well. And I, I said to my girls last night on my admin page, last, you know, my wages this month have been incredible growth which is amazing but for me the best part of this last week wasn't looking online and seeing what I've earned it was seeing what my girls have earned that were saying oh where do I find what I've earned and my brand new girls that have come in and when I say to them oh it's 170 pound they are over the moon with that because these are girls that were like I was nearly 10 years ago that are you know maybe struggling mums or they've not got money um, and they are over the moon with that like what a couple of hundred pounds so for me I think it's always about you know, you have to remember you love the products. Like me personally, I've lost eight stone since I joined this business. Like I have completely transformed my life in every single way. Like it's made me find my love for running, for the gym and stuff like that. And as you can imagine, being so much more heavier, like I was not good health wise. Like I couldn't even walk up the stairs, never mind go for a five, 10K run. So these products that they've changed so much for me in regards to my physical appearance, like everything they've done for me and my family. Um, and for me, it's just prioritizing this. Like at the moment, Lisbon was absolutely incredible. And again, that just made me think, I, I, I just love what we do and I love this company. And since I got home, I've just been so flat out on my business. Like this comes priority before anything. So when people message me all the time and they go like, what's your secret? What is it? Like, how have you done that? I earned that. And I always say to people, there is no secret with this. I think I probably just work harder than the average person. Like 
I'm on my business from the minute I wake up till the minute I go to sleep. There's no in between with me. Um, and it's absolutely incredible because obviously I just got married in October last year. I then went to the Maldives on my honeymoon and I was in Mykonos for my hen doing stuff like that. Like this business has enabled me to live an incredible life and obviously to earning money every single month. But I always know like, right, now's the time, get back to work, get in, in building mode, you know, build new business. And that's very much where I'm at now. So I just think in regards to being successful with this, you do need to prior, prioritize it a little bit. You know, that's me, I'm very honest. And I think you do have to. Um, for example, I'm going to my friend's birthday party tonight. I'm literally not having a drink. I'm just going to have, you know, a pop and then leave and come home. Because at the minute, I'm really focused with building my business, speaking to as many people as I can, you know, really helping my new people. I'm like that. I'm very one-to-one. -one. I think when I bring someone into the business, like I've had quite a few, you know, I was on the leaderboard for January for bringing people into the business, my new girls and stuff. I'm very one-to-one -one with them. I speak to them constantly. I'm like that with my customers as well, like we've heard before for me. And I've always said that on my training calls, looking after your customers is so important. Like I'm very good with my customers. And then if I do ever offer them the business, they know that I'll be a good upline because they know how good I, I've been when they've obviously messaged me about the products or anything like that. So for me, like looking after your customers, it's so true what's been said on this, like you really do have to look after your customers and not just in regards to if you did then bring them in the business, just because customers, we wouldn't have a business without our customers realistically. And um, so I think that's what I try and kind of duplicate down with my team. And I always, always have since day one. And I was saying to my team last night as well, like nothing change for me from when I joined this business nearly 10 years ago nothing's different I haven't reinvented the wheel I don't do things different I don't try and keep up with trends or anything like that I just work on my business I don't, I don't even have a DMO and that's not to say that they don't work because they absolutely do but when I got involved in this business DMOs weren't even a thing I've never heard of them I don't have an organized structured life like I have three kids it's extremely chaotic my life but all I know is that I work on this business from morning till night I speak to as many people as I can I absolutely love the products I love sharing what they've done for me you know I love sharing the transformation I've had with them and I love helping people like I love helping people earn an income through what we do um, and I just think with this like you have to believe that to be successful at this you have to believe in the products you have to believe in the business like you have to have a passion for them like I absolutely believe in our products I absolutely love the premium capsules they got me here today I absolutely love the uplifts like I post them every day on my social media on my stories before I go for the walk a walk or before I go to the gym like I'm posting the products constantly um, and not even in a salesy way it's just what I do how I use them like just posting my life and being honest and I think it's really important in our business to be real I think like to stay relatable be real and just work hard, like that's all I do. I think that I just work harder than the average person, that's it, and I teach my girls to do the same. And I think it's massively about relationships, our business. And I think that if you keep that rule, like if you know you're with your team and it's about relationships, you're very good with your team, you know, you're very good with your customers as well. You just can't go wrong with this. But I always say to my new girls as well, it's not an overnight thing. Like my journey was very, very fast, but that's rare. And I always tell people that straight away. I set them up and say, you know, don't expect to fly. It doesn't happen overnight. And I think that sometimes, you know, people, they have to, it takes time to trust things. It takes time for people to trust people and stuff like that. And I always say people just give up that a little bit too soon with our business. Like you just don't know when you're going to have an incredible month or bring someone in that's going to be amazing or you're going to get a customer and they're then going to get involved. And the majority of my girls that are QNMD or NMD, you know, they said no to me for such a long time before joining this business. I never get anyone that just goes, go on, then sign me up. It's very rare. Um, and I was that person. I just jumped in. But I think that's so rare. I don't anyway. You might, but I don't. They never say yes there and then. Like, they always end up coming back. But I think they just watch her. 
And it's very, very about when the time is right, our business. I think it's all about timing. Like you might offer someone the opportunity today and it's just not the right time for them. It might be the right time in a year or two years. And I think people underestimate, like you can get someone involved in your business and they can just change your whole business one person. So it's really important to keep the faith. Like I'm very, very big on self-development. My team that are on here probably I roll at this because every call I go on about personal development, self-development, and it's massively mindset what we do. I think you have to have the right mindset. Like I keep saying, you've got to believe in the products. You've got to love the products and absolutely love the business. Like your mindset has to be right. If you don't think you are going to succeed at this, you won't. Like that's on, that's the way it is. And I always say on all of my calls, like, these, these products are not going to go out of fashion. Like people are not going to want to start better in the health and feeling better about themselves. And like we've heard on this call, these products are helping people every single day. So what we do is absolutely incredible for me. It's just a win-win. Um, so yeah, I think to be successful, I just get carried away and, and go on with myself here. But I think it's just about, you know, knowing how incredible these products are, sharing that, sharing that with yourself with everyone that you can speak to. And obviously having the right mindset, like being a product of the product. I'm on my stories every day, taking the products. I'm posting if I make pancakes or whatever I do, you'll see that on my Facebook, I'm posting that. Um, and I'm just very relatable and real, that's it. And same goes for bringing girls into the business. Like I don't go and speak to people and say, hi, I've earned over 2 million pounds. I would never say that. It's a, a no go. Like my new girls don't even know what I earn when I speak to them about this business. That's not the way um, I go about it. But I do teach people that they could share these products, like feel incredible from them and earn a couple of hundred pounds whilst doing it. And I think if you do that and you're genuine, it just grows and grows and grows. So for me, yeah, I think it's about them little things that I've said. And also your mindset is key. You know, you have to be in the right place and self-develop. Like I always say to my guys, if you don't, I love reading. I love reading books. I always have since I was a little girl. So I just still do that. If I ever go away on holiday or anything, I make sure I read a good two books while I'm away. And even at Christmas, I went away for a week. And when I got back, I have been so focused with business from the minute that I've got back. And I read two books while I was away. And ever since then, I'm so focused. My mindset's in the right place. And I always do well and get a lot of girls that come on and do well after that I do that. So it just can't be coincidence. And um, for me, if you if you don't like reading books, you can get audios, you can listen to YouTube, but you should absolutely be fueling your mind. My three top books, I'd say Compound Effect. I absolutely love Miracle Morning as well. Um, and I would obviously say The Secret. God, there's so many, I can't even think now, but I just love anything like self-developer or mindset. Um, Manifest actually was an amazing one that I read recently because I do believe in manifestation and law of attraction, but I do believe obviously you can't just put something on a vision board. You have to work as well alongside it. But yeah, I think, um, I think that's it. <laughs> Natalie that was fun, fun, absolutely fabulous thank you so much I just love that you know like as you say over the last what nine plus years you haven't reinvented the wheel you've just been doing what you what what you were doing all the all that time ago and it's just the hard work and just keeping on going and it, you know you haven't got to oh I'm PMD plus kind of mindset where you just think oh I'm just going to live on residual income it's just you're working like a deal, a dealer partner all the time so you know it, it, absolutely amazing and thank you so much for all those um all those tips there um can everyone put a big thank you in the chat and also you know the top takeaways and thanks for your thanks for all your books i like all those as well <laughs> they're great and there is also a new mindset book out the um the manifest book as well which is absolutely brilliant um have you got a guest no no no, no i didn't ask her for one i didn't ask oh, okay her. cool yeah, okay right. so um Thank you absolutely everybody for taking part this morning. Thank you for tuning in and listening. Thank you for all our incredible speakers, for giving us or sharing all those incredible golden nuggets that have helped them have the success. And that if we take it on board, we too can you know get the same success it's just a case of just like as Natalie said just get into that building mode and just you know just really work on your mindset and just work really hard all the time and you know we can all go to Rio and I'd love you to all put in the chat there who is going to Rio 
okay or you know just do a big cheer I can't see everyone on the screen but uh, I'd love to see who's going because we should all go yeah we, if we imagine the party I mean Lisbon looked absolutely incredible James is going <laughs> uh, so a big thank you to James for organizing this amazing event that he does and uh, fantastic job every single month and always gets you know you always think oh that was the best one and then he rolls out another one the next month and you're like oh my god that was that was the best one you know so it, you know always just um just absolutely incredible so again a big thank you let's put all this into practice take away your top tips from today and just really really work on it get your mindset in gear get your get up that hour extra morning get do the miracle morning or whatever it takes and let's get rocking and rolling ready to pack our suitcases off to off to Rio in whenever it is so have a great weekend everyone bye bye thank you so much bye bye, bye. <laughs>